you're new here, I'm an artist and potter from Melbourne and here I just released my knitting collection where I sewed a bunch of knitted hats and knitted sleeves that I designed myself and I'm just packing up all the orders for them. I didn't have heaps of stock but I sold out which I was super grateful for and I was not expecting these to be that popular at all because I don't really do knitting that much or sell knitting products. So yeah that was like super nice and I felt very encouraged to try out different things in my shop and not just stick to you know the usual i have a lot of ideas that i would like to do so that was really nice and yes i'm just packaging these up and then sending them out before starting on underglazing my pottery i just wanted to say hi at the start of the video but i'll chat to you more when i start working on my ceramics Hi, so I just sent out all of the orders and now I'm going to start painting all of my pottery pieces. I made a lot of these little sculptures of onigiri and mushrooms and I'm just sketching and I've kind of made these before so I already had an idea of what I was doing is kind of just painting lots of them in a row and pretty mindless work I didn't have to think about it too much since they're all the same and then I also had a few other things later that I paint. My little tiny pots. I just did a small batch because I just wanted to test them out and do like a big collection later. And just like some mugs and other sculptures, I'm actually doing a lot more in the glazing process this time rather than under glazing. I think usually I would 
underglaze the details a lot and so that would be the main creative part of decorating the pottery but this time I'm going to be doing a lot more of the pencil underglaze which I do at the glaze stage and also trying out different glazes I've never used glazes that aren't just a clear gloss so I'm hoping that they turn out really well I'm excited to see how they look but yeah still just doing some pieces with painting under glaze and then just clear on top I'm not sure if I want to do the gloss or satin I kind of like the satin I tried it before just on some pieces and I feel like it kind of looks a little more sophisticated kind of a bit more of a natural stone but also the gloss looks like really juicy and I feel like that's what a lot of people really like about ceramics because you can't really get that gloss otherwise unless you use like resin but yeah I gave myself a lot of time to work on this collection so I'm looking forward to it and I'm actually really enjoying taking my time I think before I would sort of give myself a deadline for when I needed to get a collection out but I've kind of accepted that it's just a long process and I feel like my pieces will turn out better if I'm enjoying making them and not rushing to get them done so I hope they all turn out well and I'll let you watch me paint
so I'm just showing you all of the little tiny parts I painted it was actually pretty hard to film because they're like really really small and it's much easier to paint them when they're like really close to my face and I can see the details so I kind of just did that off camera but these are all the designs I did some are kind of the same as what I've done before with the blue and white and I also tried with the red and white and then also did some little soda cans a soy sauce but yeah now everything is ready to be fired so I'll be dropping them off to the kiln I'm not sure what I'll be doing next but I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one bye